to this uh, very, very uh, important day, um, or for me anyway. Earlier on, uh, recorded a, I recorded a video with uh, Owen and Nick. Uh, however, video audio from their side uh, it failed. So um, unfortunately, you've just got me and the two disembodied voices. Uh, I'll try my best to make it um, so you can hear what they say. But bear with us, because uh, I didn't want to do it again. Because we met, we doing it again missed the. Uh, sort of, um, what's the word, spontaneity of, uh, of the actual event. But anyway, here we go. Uh, let's have a look at what went on. We're live, aren't we? We're testing, boys. We're testing. <laughs> We're testing. This is the day for 40k. This, well, it's not 40k, is it? It's Horace Heresy. And I've run out of tea. Anyway, welcome. Uh, this is... Uh, What's the date today? Saturday the what? 18th? Yeah. Saturday the 18th. And uh, I have these two reprobates with me. I've just got back from Manchester. And we're going to do a bit of an unboxing. You alright, you two? Yeah. You riveted? Okay, right. First item I want to, I want to show you both is this magnificent beast. What do you think of that? In... Yeah, well, Father Christmas is from Turkey, isn't he? Hey, so I bought a memorial mug of Father Christmas in Turkey. Cool. So that'll be on the Advent just, Challenge. You've just what? come back from Cyprus. I have indeed come back from Northern Cyprus. Northern Cyprus is run by the Northern Cypriots. Yeah, which are the Northern the... Cypriots. The Northern Cypriots. Anyway. Yeah. So, that's that. The next thing I want to show you from my uh, amazing unboxingness is this. Isn't that cool? What's that? It's a cheap bit of tat. It's a Turkish coffee cup set. Oh, so we're yeah, going to... I only haven't got two of them for me and, me and Owen. No, I've got one. <laughs> one. I'm not splashing out because... There you go. So I've got that. That's amazing, isn't it? Oh, you saved the best till last for me and Owen. I am saving the best till last. The best thing I got, right, this is this is really cool, is this, look at that, an electric Turkish coffee maker. So it's basically an electric kettle for making I Turkish you've coffee. Your viewers by now. Hey? <laughs> I don't have any viewers anyway. And obviously I've got some coffee. Hey? Amazing. Well, I'm surprised you didn't get a... You should have seen what the rest of them brought through. Incredible. They're still they're, they're still stone now. Eh? <laughs> Loads of stuff. Anyway, right. So what's special about today do you think? Well, oh yeah, you went to France, didn't you? You went to the Normandy Memorial or something, didn't you? Yeah, well, yeah, that was on the way back. Brittany. Brittany? There's lots of spears there. Boom, boom, I'm here all week. I'm off to Wales next week. Are you? Yeah. There's nothing exciting about Wales. No limb sheep. You watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Yeah, I think Nick's off to Wales for a bargain. Boom, boom, I'm here all week. <laughs> right, anyway. Which word? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the point of this video is because today is the day that this got launched. So we're, going to, we're taking the wrapping off just to make it quicker because obviously uh, we don't want to keep you all from... Uh, Enjoying your own copies of Adeptus Titanicus, the Horus Heresy. Um, I miss. Pardon? I haven't got a copy. Well, you don't count. Um, the I missed out on the um, Grandmaster Edition, which is the one I wanted. Uh, by the time I got there, it had been sold out, so I was a bit annoyed about that. So I had to settle for the standard Warlord uh, launch edition, and I bought some knights as well, but we'll get into that in a sec. So, anyway, this is the core rule set box. Um, 
So we'll have an open of that. It's a very nice shiny box, I must admit. It's a very, very nice shiny box. So, ready? Ready? Yeah. It's empty. <sighs> I love the smell of a new game. Mmm. Lovely, lovely. Right, so, we'll start from the top. I'm sorry you can't see this. This is like an adult thing because I'm showing these two lunatics. So here we go. Oops, hang on. Bits, there's that much jam packed into it, it's all falling out. <laughs> it's just the Games Workshop made the boxes smaller, <laughs> so there seems that you get more in it. <laughs> I'm not surprised you're shaking. This is a momentous day. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so this is the uh, rule book. It's a hardback rule book. It's very nice, very pretty. Um, smells lovely. Ready? How many pages? Uh, well, it starts there. Yeah. And it ends. Hang on, one sec. Sorry, stuck together. And it ends there. So it's that many pages, Nick. Yeah. Yeah? yeah? It's that many pages. See, Owen is stunned into silence at the amazingness of this. You are, aren't you? You want one, don't you? Is there a Napoleonic I wish there was. I wish there was. In fact, I might do a Napoleonic themed uh, manipul. Well, they are releasing a Black Powder version too. What, Black Powder Adeptus Titanicus version? That would be cool. Anyway, so. Right. So it's a nice hardback rule book, uh, lots of pages that smell lovely, and some great coloured pictures. Look at that. So is that, is that rule book just early rules? Is it not I don't know yet because this is the first time I've seen it. Now there's some fluff at the beginning, then there's the rules. I read the um, playthrough in White Dwarf. It uh, seems fairly basic, doesn't seem to be much changed. So we have some rules and then some advanced rules and then more pictures at the back. So it's a very nice book and I shall enjoy reading that in about half an hour. Pardon? I said I'm not a games workshop aficionado. Yeah, they are very, very nicely done, aren't they? Always have been. Anyway, sex in, sex in the box? Next in the box, and it is sexy, is the ubiquitous plastic ruler that we'll never use. So there you go. So I, don't know what, I don't know what it measures. I haven't read the rules, but I'm sure it measures distances. So that's that. We would seem to have two crib sheets. Very nice. So they say the same on the front as on the back on each one. So there you go, that's cool. And then, of course, we have um, a bit of cardboard with some advertising on for more funky stuff you can buy. Um, so, yeah, so more stuff you can buy. More stuff you can buy. You need to start doing this. This is much better than Infinity. I, I'm painting Infinity at the moment. It's just pink. You poor dishevelled child. Then there's this plastic thing. This plastic thing. I know actually know what this is. This is the um, templates for Fire Arcs and the Titan um, control panel counters. That's what that is. Yeah, I think if 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 I'm right, I think the card that it's thick card stock and you can punch out the holes, and you can put these like counter things in. I think so. I'm not 100% certain because obviously this is the first time I've looked at it, so I don't know. Um, and you can control your damage on your Titan. Much better than that wheel on the old one where I used to just do void shields. That's remember everything. Uh, Weapon effect templates in a nice bluey colour. Okay, next in we have some dice or die or whatever you want to say. Very nice dice. 
Very nice dice. Have you seen them? You jealous yet? Really are, I'm jealous. Yeah. Are you, you jealous yet? Something tells me that these two aren't quite as keen on this as I am. No, we're not keen. As soon as this is finished, we're off down to uh, GW to... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to shares in the company. Have you got... You, you managed to get hold of that uh, the big edition, didn't you? The four box one? No. The one that you missed out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, they're taking my piss now. <laughs> these, I think, are the control cards. I haven't opened them up, and I'm not going to open them up just yet. But those are the things that control me titans. I think, I could be talking out of school here, but I think they are. Then we've got some more cards in a nice sealed packet. You can't see that because the light's wrong. There you go. More cards in a nice sealed packet. Great. The problem is the cave's not set up for videoing at the minute because it's all in bits. So some more cards. Some very little cards. I don't know what they're for, but we'll soon find out. This says on the back, Vulcan Mega. Blaster, Mega Bolter, disabled. So it must be something to do with weapon effects. So there you go. So that's what's in the main rule box, and I'm very, very happy about that. And uh, pardon? Four by four. Four by four. No, I thought. Yeah, but I thought it came with like a cardboard board. Does it? It's probably separate. I know. I'm not seeing any game mats for it. No, good. That's an extra. Is that an extra? Is that something that you dream? Is that something that you're seeing in your dreams? Are you are you an oracle? I don't regularly dream about games. Don't you? So there you go. That's that. That's that box done and dusted. I'm putting it all back nice and neat because I don't want to get any of this damaged. So there we go. So we'll bang that in there. Beautiful. Oh. Did you hear the plane song when we opened that? The chanting, the chanting of the uh, Adeptus Mechanicus as we opened the box, I'd say. Heathens. Okay, next up is this is the uh, Warlord Titan. You ready for this? Yeah, go on. This is the bit I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. It's going to be very, very anticlimactic, I can assure you. I'm going to hold my friend in this <laughs> Right, here we go. Comes out like a coffin. Okay, so we've got a book. Assemble instructions. Assemble instructions, there you go. This will help you, Nick. Assemble instructions. Oh, yeah. Yeah? How many is this for? One or two? One. It's only one Titan, isn't it? That's the main Titan, isn't it? It's the main. It's a Warlord Titan. Yeah. Some beautiful painting illustrations at the back of more paint schemes. You can do them in. Using, of course... GW paints only. I take it they're all the different house names. Different different legions, mate. Legions. legions Come on. Right. Get right. You're talking about knights now. Oh, legions, I see. Mate. I see. Legions, mate. Come on. Get, get, with the, get with the program. All right. Sprue one. Lovely sprues. Do you want to see the sprues? Fantastic. Another sprue. Whoa. And another sprue. This is the weapon sprue. Pardon? Don't pack a lot on, it, on, on a sprue. There's not a lot of gaps, is there? Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? It's efficiency. That's why the boxes can be smaller. Use less materials. Make more profit. I mean, keep the price down. Is it bonus there? Base. And some tattoos. Or well, transfers, I believe they're called these days. Tattoos? I'm joking, shut up. 
That's being deliberately stupid. So there you go. Huh? I am. So I put all this back in the box. So that's the Titan. So it's three sprues. Lovely. De they are detailed. I tell you, even I can even see them without my glasses on. So they're very nice. Very nice. They're much bigger apparently than the. Uh, well, I know they're much bigger. They're much bigger than the old ones. About twice the size of the old Titans. Um, I shall bring out Molly when uh, when the cave's back in order, so we can have a look at Molly compared to the new one. So there you go. Molly? Is that what you named one? Molly? Molly is my first Titan. My first Warlord Titan from Adeptus Titanicus, oh, circa 1988. Hmm? What's, what's the reason behind the name, Molly? Molly? Yeah. Because it fired a volley. Molly. Just Molly. It's just, a ridiculous, it's just a stupid name. What are you going to call this one then? You can call it Nick. I'll call it Nobed in, in, in celebration of you. <laughs> so, pop that back in the box. So, this is the uh, Titan. I think these are 65 quid on their own. It's up to you whether you think it's worth it or not, but to me, 65 yeah, quid. You don't need many of them. So, and finally. And finally, the knight. The little ones. The little ones, the little dudes. I liked knights the first time you were out. So I thought this was all about big titans, usually, in sort of like six mil scale, is that roughly it? That's the old version, yeah. So I don't know whether or not they're keeping it, it was actually eight mil, but I don't know whether or not they're keeping it at six, eight, ten mil. Because I I hope I hope they are releasing infantry for it, or at least tanks. Um, but I don't know whether I mean who's to know. I mean if they release the miniatures back in six mil, then the Titans will actually be to scale. So what's that? So the Titan, the, the previous, that's Titan. Yeah, it's a god machine. Yes, it's a titan. Yeah. So what? But what's that? The knights. The knights were some. The knights were some extra sales materials that they introduced in the late nineties. Right. Sorry, some. Um, the knights were sort of something they expanded on in the fluff. <laughs> Back in the nineties, um, the knights are like sort of uh, feudal lords, who have. Um, these sort of machines that are actually agricultural machines, you know, like you know, like for doing stuff, but they modified them with weapons and stuff, and then it all became a big thing. Right. Okay. But originally they were they were like you know like in Alien, where she's got that machine that is a lifter, she's lifting yeah, all this stuff, that. the yellow thing, yeah. Well, the, the, these were sort of developed for agricultural worlds to do that sort of work, and then obviously they got modified and used as weapons platforms. That was in the original fluff, circa nineteen mid nineties. Right now, whether or not that's still the case, because who knows? Because I'll never forgive them from changing Dark Angels from Red Indians into um, wooded knights of, of dense woodlands and dragons. But who cares? Um, but the point is. Uh, these are knights, and apparently they fight. They oh, fight. I the... missed. I, I, I lost one. Have I? You were talking about mid Indian. Okay, right, right, right. See, you've got to you remember. You were talking to someone who has the latest idea in about game workshop about mid Indian. Okay, right. If you've ever seen a dark angel sculpt from back in the Is day. That... Right. You'll notice they've got feathers and dream catchers and all sorts of stuff on them. Oh, are they? Oh. Yes. In the original fluff from the 1980s, uh, the Dark Angels came from a planet or area and they were essentially a culture of Plains Indians, like Northwest American Indians. That was their background. And they recruited from this world. Okay. However, at some point, post public limited company and uh, profit maximization, 
they became a they, they became from uh, Caliban suddenly became this densely forested planet of uh, wooded trees and you know dense woodlands and dragons and all sorts of stuff. Not an Indian to be seen. Maybe they did what the Americans did, just shot him. Well, maybe they did, but they would have also they would have also uh, covered up all the trees, wouldn't you think? They would also chop down all the trees. But anyway, that's that, that's another story. Okay. Anyway. No, we won't do that. Can I carry on? Can I open this? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, thanks, carry man. On, carry on. Oh, thanks, thanks, thanks. That's good. I'm very, very grateful for you. I have a bloody video, and they're telling me when I can do stuff. Right. Anyway. God, that was a hard one to open. So let's see what we've got in here. Stuff. Three knights, three bases. One sprue. One sprue. One sprue. One sprue. How many? One sprue. Three knights, one sprue. It must have three knots in one sprue. I bloody hope so, whether I'm sprue missing. But I don't know. What do you reckon? How big are they supposed to be? I don't know. I've never put one together yet. <laughs> I presume they're about the same size as a space marine. Jury's out. We don't know whether there's a sprue missing or whether they're all on one sprue. I'm sure some bright spark can tell us. Anyway, so... Sprue. Booklet. Assembly instructions. Pretty pictures. Pardon? Surely it's only one sprue. You're not going to need that much of a sentence. Well, looking at the bits, they all seem very small. So I reckon these are going to be a bit fiddly. Eh? Hey? These are going to be a bit fiddly to put together. Look, because it's all... It's all... This little gubbins. This little gubbins goes on to that other little gubbins, and then that little gubbins goes on to that gubbins. And then we have to try and make sure it's all in the right alignment. Well, my eyes, Jesus Christ, this is going to be fun. Yeah, everything's everything's very very multi-part, but I suppose it's giving us better quality and it's cutting down production costs, thus saving. Yeah, they are obviously going to pass on. Thus increasing profits. I mean, passing on um, savings. So, yeah, very good. And some more transfers. So that's it. So, so that's that's it. Now, we'll put, pardon? Did you pick that out today then? I did, yeah. I went in specially to. Was it very to, busy in the uh, GW shop? It wasn't actually. It was quite quiet when I went in. But none of this is on sale in the stores. You can't buy this in the shops. You have to buy it online and do in store pickup. I was talking to the man. I was talking to Paul at Games Workshop the other day, and he said that uh, they're not going to be carrying any stock of Adeptus Titanicus, uh, according to his manifests. So I presume it will be the way that it was in the past, where it was a specialist game, so you have to order it online and do store, click, store pickle. Don't get that. Why, is, why, why would you do that? I've no idea. It seems like a bizarre way of doing it. You can't just go into the shop. Well, they never sold, they never had stuff like Space Hulk, when they released Space Hulk. They never yeah, sold that in the shop. I think what it is is that if they have too much stock in the shop, because it's such a specialist game, they don't expect a massive um, sale of it after after the initial sale. Because I don't think I, I can't see this being a massive seller for them. It's people, it's old farts like me that will buy it that have played it since the eighties. Pardon? It's not a cheap. Thing to get into. It's not. It's not really. When when you consider that you know, like the the core miniature, the, the core unit is six is a sixty five quid one hit. 
every time. And I don't know what they're going to do with things like the Reavers. If they're going to bring out an Imperata, and then maybe they'll, they may introduce some other races. Do you know what I mean? But I think it looks like they're sticking to the Horus Heresy. So I don't think we're going to have, it's not going to have the expansiveness of um, what it had with the old versions where we had Orcs and Tyranids and all sorts of stuff. I, don't, I can't see them doing that. Unless they do it, unless they do it via Forge World. Oh. And then it'll get really expensive. Yeah. Triple the price, add a zero, I'm I think you've been a bit I think you've been a bit um, what's the word facetious there, Owen. That was a big word for one of my videos, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Nick 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 hasn't got a clue what we're talking about now. I will absolutely love it. I've waited for this for so long. I want to see it painted up, put together, painted up. As I've said to you, this is my autumn project. Oh yeah, autumn project. Did you did you did you say which? <laughs> <laughs> is that one of your pets? Autumn. Yeah. <laughs> autumn twenty forty two. Well, at the moment, as, you, as, as, as we're now going to have a look at, the progress on the seller is as follows. Run VT. Right, it's the end of day one. Um, they've uh, taken that bit off. But the best bit is they've done this. And uh, I think you'll agree, that looks a lot better job, doesn't it? And there, much better. Yeah, tons better, and they've got all the proper gear. Look at that roller stuff. That's the stuff. That's the tanking stuff. So yeah, this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little update at the end of every day, um, upload it all for you, um, just so you can share my absolute wonder at all this. So I'm very happy on the end of day one, and I think these guys are doing a smashing job. Right. That's up for now. Okay, end of day two. And here's today's progress. Pretty good. They've uh, basically taken all that stuff out that I was showing you and uh, put that in. It should be all waterproofed tomorrow on day three. Um, he thinks it's good anyway. And he's looking forward to coming back down here. So, uh, as am I. Well, that's today's update. I mean, I know I was saying today's update, but you've seen it all in the same video, but there you go. But uh, no, it's looking good. Really, really excited about this. It's going to be dead cool. Right, let's see how we get on today. Just before uh, we go back to uh, everybody, um, the seller project from the last two things, it was going quite well. Uh, we've had a bit of a technical problem uh, in as much that the window up here, um, we need to get uh, some brickwork done and stuff. However, the um, bricklayer hasn't been able to do the stuff on time because of the jobs. So in effect, we're on hold. So I don't anticipate any further work going on in the cellar for about another week to 10 days, but that's no problem. Um, I'm happy with how it's going, so uh, I'd rather wait and get a good job than um, rush it and get a crap job again. Anyway, so back to us, to uh, back to me, Owen and Nick, talking rubbish about Deptus Titanicus. Well, so there you are, that's, uh, that, that's how the seller progress. So getting back to what they were talking to me before, I've got to wait for the seller to be sorted. And somebody who, who is uh, sitting down here um, has got to build all of the... Um, Woodworky stuff, so that I can store all my stuff, can't you? You see, if everything had gone to plan, I'd be going down to his house in a week or so to sort of uh, have a meeting with him about it all, do some drawings, and paying some cash. Do some drawings. <laughs> Playing around. Yeah, going to do some colouring in. Colouring in with thick crayons, because that's that's okay. that's that's how you do engineering drawings with thick crayons, yeah. Nick. Oh, wait. 
Well, I, thick crayons and a wonky ruler. Well, what does that when the finished product turns up? Oh. I just click a window. Yeah, we know that. Anyway, it's, revol it's devolving into um, a load of silliness now. Uh, yeah, because stink. Yeah, I know you stink. So, uh, Nick's just trying to be funny for being funny's sake. He's funniest when he actually says something that he doesn't mean when he's trying to be serious. But, um, what like? Anything, Nick. Anyway. Anyway, how right. Are, how are your Austrians coming along? Just, just... My Austrians are coming along really well. Honest? Yeah, to be fair. Oh, do you, do you remember when you used to do videos about painting miniatures? <laughs> Well, oh, you remember that? Oh, then I've taken a piss because yeah, obviously, 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 they don't realise. I'm going to mute him in a second. They don't realise that it takes me quite a while to get stuff done because I have half an hour a day, maybe, and maybe an hour a week. Bingo! Watch the time you got to go to Farm Foods in a minute. No, Sainsbury's, mate. <laughs> don't buy blister meat from Farm Foods. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, they, they, oh, they, oh, they, oh, off is doing efforts for farm foods now, so it must be good. Anyway, with that, I'll say goodbye. So say bye bye, people. Bye bye, people. Bye bye, people. And from me, bye, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Do, 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 do. <laughs> He's a dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, nice.